guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited for today's video because it is a collab video. Haven't done one of those in a hot minute, and it is with my friend Tamara. Her channel is Enchanted Tamara, and she also has a really awesome Instagram that she has quite a following on, I think, at least. Um, but on her YouTube, what she does is she does a lot of hauls and reviews so if you want to see what is new and hear like how it performs and thoughts on all of the new products she has all of the newest stuff like she <laughs> she is a haul queen and she gets a lot of PR and does PR hauls too and she lets you know her thoughts on all of the products so if you like new makeup and keeping up with what's new, then definitely check her out. And also she will be doing this video with me as well that you should check out, which is if I could only keep 10 blushes. <laughs> and this one I thought would be fun because Tamara talks a lot about products. That's pretty much what her channel is. She doesn't do like application or tutorials or anything like that. She's just discussing products and I love those types of videos but I don't do a lot of them so I thought it would be fun to collab with her and do one of them and I thought this one would be a challenge for both of us because we both really love blush and we love it so much so that we both chose some honorable mentions. So if you are interested in seeing what blushes we would keep out of our collection if we could only keep 10 and some honorable mentions, then keep on watching. I'm gonna dive into the honorable mentions first because they are, you know, not as high priority. They're they're like, I, I love them so much and I wanna mention them to you, but they're not in the 10 I would keep. So the ones I wanna mention really quick are my two favorite drugstore nude blushes, the Alme Healthy Hue Blush in the nude shade this one right here is a really beautiful like satiny nude color and this one from essence in bespoke in the blush is a really pretty like luminous nude color and i'm obsessed with these but because i already had chosen out one nude color for my 10 i didn't want to like have all of my 10 be nude colors Otherwise, I would have picked these because these are definitely favorites. And then there's also Lorac's Tinge, which is a really beautiful, like, light pink blush that looks really good on fair skin. So when I'm at my fairest, I love wearing this. And then this one from NYX, Sweet Cheeks Glow in Citrine Rose. This is beautiful, highly pigmented, super glowy, really love it. And then the Etude House Cookie Blusher in Grapefruit, a really fun pop of color, especially for the summertime. I love all of these, but if I was only keeping 10, unfortunately, these are ones I would cut out, but... I do love them and they almost made it so I wanted to mention them as really good alternative options like some drugstore nudes a light pink which I didn't I don't think I included a super pale blush and then these are just just colors I didn't include in my 10 because you know you can only have 10 shades so let's get into the 10 I would keep starting with the one that is on my face today, which is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Glow in Silence is Golden. Yes, this is a yellow blush. I know. Not everybody loves a yellow blush. I, this is my first and only yellow blush I've ever owned, and it's a very glowy yellow blush. Like, it, it basically doubled as my highlighter. I put a little bit of Amrezy on the top of my cheekbones for just a little bit of extra. I don't know if that's picking up in the camera how glowy it is, 
but this is a really beautiful buildable blush. You can go really light with it to have just a hint of yellow glow or you can layer it up like I did and have it be more intense if you're looking for that <laughs> really yellow cheek and it's something unique and different and fun and it's good for like costumey looks. It's good for just fun quirky looks. I wanted to have a different unique blush color and out of the like weird colors that I have this one is definitely my favorite and I highly recommend the formula of the Sweet Cheeks Glow powders from NYX so that was one these are not ranked or in any order this is just if you were taking away all my blushes but I got to keep 10 this one this one is staying with me and so are these so I'm gonna swap back and forth between like cream liquid and powder so I I pretty much kept half and half powder and liquid and cream because I am a really like dry girl and I love looking glowy and dewy and I love cream and liquid products so I kept quite a few cream and liquid blushes and this one is from Colourpop this is in the shade Aloha this is a really beautiful warm nude shade let me just swatch it for you such a beautiful warm nude and I really like these blush sticks from Colourpop I think they blend out really nicely they don't lift my foundation and I just wanted like a cream product that was an everyday nude color that's why I picked this one all right and the next one is my nude powder blush that I picked out which is the bare minerals gen nude in beige for days if you've been on my channel for any length of time you've heard me mention this blush because I am obsessed with beige for days I originally bought this uh, when I did my original Gen Nude review in 2018, I think, and they had suggested during the release that this color would be a good contour, and I hate it as a contour. It is not a good contour shade, don't recommend, but as a nude, a warm nude blush, it is gorgeous. Let me swatch it for you. So it's a little more like bronzy and light compared to the ColourPop one. If you can see here, the ColourPop one is more more pinky and deeper but I really love this for an everyday flush on the cheeks it's so natural and just healthy and it, you could even wear it like I I think this is more of a bronzing product than the bronzer that actually came out from Bare Minerals because this kind of tone being so bronzy you could get away with using it to warm up your skin so this one I had to pick the next item I am keeping is the Poppy Girl Nudies Bloom from Nude Sticks. This is from their Dewy Blush Stick line, and I should have had makeup wipes here, but I'm just going to swatch it right here on my wrist bone all awkwardly, but it's a very bright, like, corally, dewy color, but it blends out to... So, like it looks intense right here but it blends out to be really wearable and I love this in the summer and I think it wears really well not only on top of makeup but if you're doing like a no foundation day and you just want to add a little flush this is a really good one for that and it's like I said a great color for the summer I love this color for the summer jumping back in the powder I chose another bare minerals gen nude blush this one is in Oh, can I open it? Jeez. That peach, though. This is a very light, soft peach color. And um, let's swatch it next to the gold blush. So as you can see, it's very pale. I don't know even if the camera is picking it up. It's a very light, soft peach. But it is my favorite peach blush in my whole collection and I wanted a powder peach blush. If I could only keep 10, I, wa I wanted a nude, a peach, you know, I wanted something in several categories. So this was the peach out of everything that I would want to keep. Then for liquid and cream and all of that, I kept a peach as well. This is the Grande Pop Sweet Peach Plumping Liquid Blush. This um, 
I may have warned you about it before but the plumping effect is no joke and when I put it on I get a tingly like icy hot type sensation but it's so flippin beautiful so let me just swipe it on look how beautiful that is uh it makes my cheeks look so juicy and Ugh, I just love it and if you're I will have all these blushes linked down below and if you're interested in this particular one I do have a code with Grand Eye Cosmetics I'm not sure if it's affiliated I don't think I get a commission from it I'm like an ambassador not an affiliate so I have a code but I don't think the code gets me money but if it does I appreciate your support I could be wrong but yeah, this is the peach one I chose because th this just makes my cheeks look so juicy and fresh. And it's it's definitely one I have to have. And then jumping back into powder, this one is like a putty blush, but I keep it with my powder blushes. It is the Neutrogena Cheeky Wink in First Crush. This is like my go-to drugstore blush. This is a very like everyday pink color and I keep like switching hands so there it's it's right there. Gosh these blushes are so light I think my lights are washing them out but this one I like to apply with my sponge and it's just such a beautiful like everyday pink color that just goes with any look and it also has such a long wear time like it lasts me all day if I like put it on in the morning go to work come home it's still there so couldn't let go of this one <laughs> and then the next cream and liquid product is the rare beauty blush in happy this is I think one of their dewy ones and it's the pink shade and honestly I typically don't go for pink blushes but I just love this one so much I think this one is my favorite pink blush like true like straight pink not a pink nude but like a real pink one I think this is my favorite out of like liquid or powder in my whole collection and like the subtle natural dew to it is really nice and it blends and applies so easy definitely had to keep that one and then I'm gonna go into my last cream liquid blush and that is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Glaze in Cupcake. This is one of those products that can be used on eyes, lips, and uh, cheeks and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and I like to use this most for the cheeks. It's a really, it's like kind of like a thick lip gloss feeling formula but when you blend it out on the cheeks it just looks so beautiful and it's a really pretty like soft mauve tone and I do also like applying this on the lips as well I bought this because I used to have this product from Neutrogena if I can find it I will have it here but it was a little squeezy tube just like this that was for eyes, lips, and cheeks. And I always kept it in my purse in case I ever wanted to like spruce up when I was out and about. And I really missed it. And I heard these were good for eyes, lips, and cheeks. And they look so similar. So I got this one. But I don't recommend the glaze formula for the eyes unless you're just taking some pictures and being done. But actually wearing this on the eyes, like it's so like thick and sticky. Even if you blend it out, like, it's still really, like, ugh, you know? I don't recommend this for the eyes, but I love it as a blush. And it's my favorite, like, mauve toned liquid and cream blush that I have, so I had to keep it. And then the very last product that I would be keeping, which, interesting, I seem to do all the colors together, like the peaches and the nudes and the pinks. So this is my mauve powder blush that I'm keeping. And this is the Ofra and Samantha March Chick Lit Blush. And the reason that this one won out over any other 
purpley or mauve toned blush in my collection it's because it's a split pan so I have I can wear this one I can wear this one or I can mix them together so I have three options in one blush no brainer if I'm only keeping ten one blush that works as three is coming with me and I really do love that one as well. Now I'm covered in blush, let me grab a makeup wipe. All right, as I'm wiping myself off, I just wanna put a little disclaimer that we did not include like blush palettes or face palettes or anything like that. This was like single products only, um, aside from me choosing a split pan. I don't know if that's unfair, but I'm really curious to see what Tamara picked out as her if she could only keep 10 because she seriously like I feel like I have a huge collection but her collection like is like a makeup store dream come true it's amazing and so I know it would be really hard to choose out of all of that so I'm really curious to see what oh mascara There, fix it. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what she chose. And if you guys want to see, please check her out. She will be linked down below and tell her that I sent you. And let me know if you could only keep 10 blushes, what ones would you keep? And also, if you want to know the details of what I'm wearing, because I did not do a tutorial on this, at all. The butterfly clips are from Cherry Cosmetics on Etsy and of course you know the Sweet Cheeks Glow Blush. The freckles are the Jason Wu freckle pen. The eyes are a combination of the Lemoncello, actually like 90% Lemoncello and just the green shade from the Lizzie McGuire palette, just that green shade in the corner. And then lips are Boldly Bare, you know, my go-to nude lip liner. And then Revlon, what is this? Sandstorm lip gloss. So anything else you want to know about my face or anything, just ask me down below. I would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.